Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the TNM staging system. This is something you may have heard about in terms of looking at your pathology report or hearing people talk about this, different doctors talking to one another. And I thought it would be worth explaining what each of these are and then how they come together to help with the stage. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit and talk about breast cancer stage. There are five stages of breast cancer, starting with stage zero, which is ductal carcinoma in situ or DCIS, or you might hear it called non-invasive breast cancer. We'll drop a link to our video below about DCIS. The next is stage one, and stage is represented in Roman numerals. Stage one, stage two, stage three, and stage four. And again, those are all Roman numerals. Now, the way we come up with the stage is by looking at the components of stage which have been created by the AJCC, or the American Joint Commission on Cancer. These, these staging systems use worldwide. Not every single malignancy or cancer uses the AJCC system. So I'm gonna start with talking about the T of the TNM staging. T refers to the size or status of the tumor. There are a couple funny things about the T stage that I'll get to in just a moment, but let's start with T1. A T1 tumor is up to two centimeters. Although everything else in the US, we use um, the imperial measurements like inches and feet. In science, we tend to use centimeters. So two centimeters uh, is actually quite small. It's less than an inch. If for reference, an inch is two and a half centimeters approximately. So if that helps, it needs to be, le it's less than an inch to be a T1 tumor. If it's 2.1 centimeters to five centimeters, that's a T2 tumor. A T3 tumor is greater than five centimeters. So five centimeters is about the size of a AA battery. That would be a T2 tumor and a T5 tumor is bigger than that. What if the tumor is not completely round? A lot of tumors aren't. We use the greatest dimension of the tumor. So in your pathology report, you might see three dimensions. You might see basically the height, the width, and the depth. But in the TNM staging, we use for the T stage, the largest dimension. If you'd like to learn more about the stage of cancer you have, visit yerba.com for your personalized report. T0 uh, tumors are where you don't find the tumor. There is no tumor. Basically what happens is we find the breast cancer in the lymph nodes and we know it's breast cancer because it looks like breast cancer and the markers are like breast cancer, but we don't find the primary tumor. This can happen if your body actually absorbs the primary tumor. Isn't that amazing that our bodies can basically beat back the primary tumor, but cells have already left and gone to the lymph nodes. And then the other funny thing in the TNM system is the use of X. So if we see TX, it means the primary tumor could not be assessed. This might happen in somebody who's had a mastectomy where we can't say there's no tumor, but we can't assess it, we can't find it uh, because the breast tissue has been removed and now we're seeing cancer in the lymph nodes. Okay, so I started with T1, T2, T3, and then I jumped back to T0 and TX. Similarly, with lymph nodes or glands, the number of nodes is what determines what you are. So negative nodes is N0. N1 is one to three positive nodes. N2 is four to nine positive nodes. And N3 is 10 or more nodes. So it's quite logical. There are no fancy tricks here. Uh, is there an NX? Yes, there is. You can have the lymph nodes not accessible. Now this might be because somebody's primary tumor was so small or their surgical risk in having a lymph node uh, assessment is too great. So they have the primary tumor removed but they don't have the lymph nodes removed 
or somebody may just not have had their lymph node dissection yet. So we might say this is a T3NX. We're not feeling any nodes, we don't see any on MRI, but we can't say they're negative because no assessment's been done. We never like to leave somebody with an NX. We never like to, because you can't stage somebody if there's a missing N. So if there's NX in your report, it means your workup is still ongoing, or for some reason, no lymph nodes could be obtained. And that can happen sometimes. We do a central node biopsy, the axillary or armpit fats removed, and we just don't see any nodes. We'd like to see some nodes before we say N0. So if there are no nodes, we don't call that N0. If there are no nodes found, or if the surgery can't be done, then we'll say NX. The last one is M, and this refers to metastases. Metastases are cells that have spread to other parts of the body. I'd like to address a common confusion. In your pathology report, you might see lymph nodes that say metastatic cells in the lymph nodes. Technically, that's true. The cells have left the primary site and gone to the armpit nodes but they've spread locally. So local involvement of lymph nodes, unless they're distant lymph nodes, those are not metastases in the TNM staging. It just means that the lymph nodes are positive. So M refers to spread outside the body, outside the breast and neighboring lymph nodes. So it might be liver, lung, a bone, uh, you might see lymph nodes on the other side, and that would actually be M1. If we don't see any lymph nodes anywhere in the body doing the appropriate staging scans, that's M0. We rarely want to use MX because it means I can't tell you your stage. Anytime this happens, a registry, a tumor registry, doctors talking to each other don't actually know. So I'll, if your body hasn't been scanned, uh, you know, if you haven't had CAT scans and bone scans because you don't need them, you have stage one disease or stage two disease, no symptoms, you're not getting chemo before surgery, you've had a complete workup, even if you haven't had those scans. So you would be M0 in that case. What makes somebody MX? What makes somebody MX is if I would have liked to have done scans, a CAT scan or an MRI, or I would have liked to have done a biopsy of a finding in the lung or the bone, and I can't. So there's something abnormal, it's got me a little worried, it's not accessible to a needle biopsy, and I'm going to keep following that, that would be MX. If those lesions disappear with treatment, it means that they were probably metastatic lesions that were effectively treated. If they stay stable over time, it most likely means that they're not cancer and that you are actually M0. This is a lot to cover. Uh, we have a blog post about staging and I think that's really helpful to see it as well. If this has been helpful to you, click like and subscribe. And any questions, just drop them in the comments below because we'll get back to you on any questions you have, anything that isn't clear. And don't forget to visit yerba.com to get your personalized report.